Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about unique hero pair. Like as I have mentioned before, I have been playing this game for more than 400 days and I think I have enough experience to think and to search about the new and kind of unique hero pairs which are not meta hero pairs simply because generally in call of dragons whenever new uh, heroes are coming out those heroes are meta and everybody is playing with them whenever you are playing call of dragons as a free-to-play player you have to think about the different ideas and some unique styles which can be applied to the game my favorite hero have been always Kinara and I have been thinking and trying out some Kinara unique hero pairs uh, and my whole idea behind this video is that um, like best hero pair for Kinara is Hosk and unfortunately Hosk is only gettable from the VIP shop and you need to pay some money in order to unlock the Hosk right but if you are a player like me you have not spent a single dollar in this game uh, you, you won't be able to unlock Hosk so you have to think about different ideas how you can utilize Ginara in a most perfect way. Um, in my opinion, there is one good unique hero pair uh, for Ginara, and there is simply Ginara and Indis. Uh, now it's time for me to speak why I think this hero pair can be workable, and I have tried it many, many times, and I think it's doing pretty fine. And like most important idea behind this hero pair is that it will be easy for everybody to awaken Indis simply from the Dragon Trail, every single day you can uh, get three maximum three tokens of the indies and at the end of the day if you are just playing the game you will be able to awaken indies uh, if you will unlock kinara from the lucky spins and you will uh, put kinara as a vip everyday token you will be able to get kinara's tokens every single day and at some point you will be able to awaken kinara too so as a free-to-play player having two legendary heroes awakened is amazing because uh, I'm sure everybody knows how really really hard and how tough it is to awaken legendary heroes if you are not spending any money in the game. Uh, most importantly why I think this will be the great replacement for the Hosk uh, is simply because of the playstyle which in this kind of behaves like a Hosk right. For example Hosk has legion capacity of course Hosk is giving us a lot of buffs like defense buffs, normal attack damage bonuses defend reduction so main idea idea behind Hosk and Kinara hero pair is that Hosk is giving us a lot of tankiness and all the damage you are doing is with Kinara and with counter attack damage right basically you can do same uh, with the Indies Indies is giving us HP bonus and maximum legion capacity for up to 7% which gonna make our legion tanky as you are doing with Hosk right in, in addition you are getting some heals and of course uh, infirm damage taken 20% for three seconds which is giving you even more uh, power whenever you are fighting against the enemy so simply quite uh, like same idea you are tanky you are healing yourself it's hard to kill you and you are dealing more damage actually i think with indies than you are doing with hosk and of course you will be away you will be able to awaken indies pretty easily uh, that's the main idea behind this hero pair is if we're gonna speak about purely about the skills of course um, like I like in this Swiss host because for example Kin uh, in this Swiss Kinara because Kinara is like skill damage factor legendary hero pair for marksman which is also applying a lot of debuffs same as in this like for example you are like decreasing target the target's damage deal to 15% which gonna make you even stronger even tankier hero skill damage taken 10% again uh, like enemy will be able to deal a lot less damage to you so that's why I think uh, more tanky you will be with Kinara more physical counter attack damage you will deal and plus 30% uh, counter attack physical damage dealt bonus is quite much quite quite high number right so this is like main idea behind this hero pair kinara and indies you will be tanky you will have a lot more troops because of the legion capacity and of course kinara in this uh infirm which is damage taken 
plus 20% for 3 seconds is great thing to have and of course healing will make you even more stronger uh, I think you guys understood what's my whole point behind this hero pair and now it's time for me to speak about talents uh, first of all I need to mention that Kinara should be primary and Indies should be secondary well I understand there is one big uh, bad thing whenever you are not using Hosk because Hosk had precision talent and precision talent is the best marksman talent which we have in the game but that's we can forget about precision talent in this case and we are running Kinara as a primary so we will be using uh, Kinara's talents uh, in this matter i would go for marksman talent tree honestly like i understand count control can be fine but we are trying to deal damage on the battlefield i'm not thinking that control is the talent tree which will be accessible and which will be fine uh, there is like different and many different talents which are better than control that's why i think marksman talent tree will be totally fine and of course i would go for example for shower of blows uh, simply because uh, like whenever you are playing with in Ara, you are your damage is purely connected to rage skill so you will be able to deal more damage like eight percent more damage with your rage skill 1400 damage is your uh, main skills damage uh the last like second talent for the kinara's talent tree is of course burst shot like more skill damage factor uh, like damage you're gonna do with the Kinara is will be better and better for you simply because Kinara is not normal attacker she is mainly a uh, skill damage factor uh, like legendary hero uh, of course I would go marksman fully like try to get as much attack uh, uh, talents as possible and as always I have mentioned in every single video about the heroes that at first read what you are unlocking because you have to understand what you are choosing and whenever you're gonna understand and that your gameplay will be connected to your talents uh, if you will go for the uh shower of blows and if you go for the bar shot of course then you can simply go with pvp because uh, pvp talent generally give you a lot of stats like attack bonus stats here you're gonna go hero skill damage on the field which is five percent which is amazing so like in my opinion for the talents of this hero pair marksman and pvp would be the priorities but you can always go fully on pvp and uh, try to use kinara and indies mainly on the battlefield against enemies in big war uh, that's the main idea about the talents for the Kinara and Indies and I will repeat again try to read it for yourself and try to understand what you are unlocking now it's time for me to speak about the artifacts for this hero pair and generally like anything any single uh, legendary artifact will be totally fine for this hero pair like for example shadow blades pure damage factor damage dealer artifact which is gettable from the normal keys again like kind of uh, free to play friendly artifact if you go if you want to go for more defensive stats of course you can go for heart of kamasi but i think uh, like heart of kamasi is more normal attacker uh, artifact also one unique artifact which i think will be fine with the kinara and indies is viola's bow i understand you are not having attack bonuses on the attributes but i like the the like synergy with the kinara and indies like you are applying a lot of debuffs as a hero pair and also with viola's bow uh, damage legions are sealed cannot cast artifact skill skills for 10 seconds it will mean that you are purely a uh, debuffer with this hero pair which can be fine and also hp bonuses will make you a lot, lot stronger uh, plus you have you will have more legion troops in your inside your uh, hero pair and also in this heal will be uh, affected with that too uh, that's kind of unique one a lot no, not a lot of players are using wireless bow and i think for this hero pair it will be totally fine uh, generally that's like main uh, artifacts i think like gold quest is better for syndrome and Fregar and and Gilded Crossbow is more suited for the Magrot and Zyda, but I think Gilded, Bro Gilded Crossbow can be fine with Ginara and uh, in this hero pair too. Uh, that's all regarding like artifacts. I mentioned first one, big, uh, first one more free to play friendly artifacts such as Shadow Blades and the Heart of Gamasi, simply because it will be easy for everybody to get these artifacts from the normal pools from the uh, like artifact uh, uh, keys, right? And of course there is a couple of epic ones like Heart Piercer, fine, it will be workable for the uh, Ginara and in this hero pair and also the newest 
newest one which is still heard avenger you can get this artifact from this newest event um, it can be workable on the nikinara and indies of course if you don't have any other legendary artifacts uh, in terms of marksman you can always go for the still heard avenger or uh, heart piercer uh, regarding like warpets which warpet will be fine for kinara and indies uh, in my opinion um, as always any single marksman warpet which is popular in nowadays will be fine uh, like honestly i think uh, snow peak rock and uh, night rock is the main idea about the uh, marksman warpets but in our case as i have spoken many many times in this video that kinara in indies is kind of unique hero pair and that's why i think healing can be fine like sand lizard with the stone aura which is like healing four nearby legions around you uh, by a lot right will be fine uh, but in terms of the other skills for the sand lizard uh, i would not go for chain strike synergy i would go for the uh first attack simply because first attack is allowing us to be more skill more rage uh, dependent than kinara and indies kinara is all about rage skill without rage skill you are not doing any damage so i think sand lizard with first attack will be totally fine uh, again snow peak rock with this kind of build like concentration uh, first attack and first attack synergy will be totally fine the worst one in this case i think would be the night rock because night rock i think is mainly about normal attack and crits and in our hero pair with Ginara and indies uh, normal attacks are not main thing to have regard in terms of damage we are more more using our skill damage our rage so i think a uh, night rock would be the last choice uh, for this hero pair uh, so first one would be like sand lizard in terms of tankiness second one would be snow peak rock and both of them would be would like i would like to have first attack on them and the last choice would be night rock let's say let's see maybe in the future we will have more warpets in the game which will be suitable uh for the kind of new unique hero pairs but so far that's all we got and that's where we want to try to figure out which will be fine for this hero pair uh, that was like main idea about kinara and indies hero pair as i have mentioned before like let's have a small summary uh, kinara and indies is a, a replacement like free to play replacement for the uh, host and kinara hero pair uh, one big minus is that we don't have precision talent on kinara that's why uh, we are going for marksman talent tree that's like one big minus and of course one big plus is that finally like as a free to play player you will be able to have two legendary heroes which are awakened and if you will simply just focus your legendary tokens and your vip shop uh, token for kinara and you will simply try to uh, get tokens of in, uh, in this from the dragon trail it will be easy for you to simply get these two legendary heroes together and finally it will be pretty amazing when as a free to play player you have two legendary heroes in the same legion and they are both awakened uh, of course, there, there are like a couple of minuses in, in, in terms of uh, Hosk replacement, right? Like Hosk is giving us way more buffs uh, for Kinara, but in our case for Indies, 20% uh, um, damage taken for 3 seconds is quite a lot. Um, we're gonna add this kind of buff, this kind of percentage to the skill damage factor which Kinara has, and you will be dealing a lot amount of damage. Also, with the new update in this got like 600 damage factor whenever you're gonna awaken her which can which simply adds up more damage for our hero pair and also healing uh, with the indies will make us even more tankier right like best part about indies as a pair for kinara is hp bonus and uh, maximum legion capacity i love this uh, maximum legion capacity because it's not like uh, it's pretty rare to have something like that because i think we have only three heroes which has this kind of attribute uh, like one is indies second one is uh, madeline and the third one is hosk right so i think indies can be utilized in many different hero pairs and one of them should be in my opinion kinara of course you can always try more of a control tree with the kinara and indies but i think you would highly prefer to get more and more merits so with this kind of hero pair because uh, like generally supportive type of gameplay is not that popular right now maybe in the future we will have more legendary heroes which are 
better supports but so far with what we have i think dealing more, more damage is way more fun uh, than simply just trying to uh, pull a lot of debuffs to enemies uh, that was like my main idea why i wanted to speak about this kind of hero pair because generally we don't have really a lot uh, a lot of heroes in the game slowly we are getting more and more but so far that's all we got and i think like there is couple of hero pairs which are hidden inside these heroes which we need to understand and we need to try out that's why i will simply use my experience i will use my knowledge about the game and i will try to test more and more heroes in the game so uh, i will be able to showcase uh, the quite unique hero pairs which you have inside the game so first one was kinara and the indies i all i already have a couple of new ones uh, which i'm trying to test and which i'm trying to showcase in the, in the future videos and if you guys like this kind of content press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make uh, content for this amazing game i hope everybody will have an amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck